Okay, so, um, no Halloween looks this year, but I guess I'm just gonna, um, kind of in a get ready with me stuff. It's, it's not even, ho even near Halloween yet. It's like, what, the 24th? It's still quite like a week away from Halloween. This is pretty much gonna be similar to last year's look that I did for Halloween. Um, and I actually ordered new horns, but they still haven't come in from Amazon yet. Um, so I'm just gonna be using the same ones that I used from last year. I'll link below the tutorial that helped me because these are were DIY ones that I made from Styrofoam and they're actually really easy to make but they still look really nice. I'll link the video that I followed. But uh, this is pretty much going to be similar to last year's. I think it was called like Demon Eyes makeup look. Um, don't remember what I did exactly but kind of in the same vein. It's basically just a smoky dramatic eye with horns that I'm going to glue on my forehead. <laughs> Beauty girl. This is why I... Make sure people know I'm not a fucking makeup artist. I'm gonna be using a lot of like really deep reds. So to make every all the colors like pop or whatever, I'm gonna have like a really clean like slate to work with. So we're gonna go for full cover. Well, we're gonna try to go for full coverage today. <sighs> Naked Face sent me this headband, and I really don't know if they have it on Amazon right now. But I'll, if they do, I'll link it because I know people are gonna ask where I got this. But uh, where shall we start? Let's do primer. I don't usually gravitate towards like these uh, really silicone primers, but for today we're gonna go all out. Don't you love how whenever we do, whenever you see beauty gurus do these looks? Oh, I'm gonna put this primer to make sure it stays on all day. But you know damn well that they're gonna wash their face <laughs> like right after they're done filming. <laughs> but yeah, just a little bit. I'm not gonna put any on my forehead because I'm gonna be gluing. Not gluing, but. Putting, well, I'm going to use lash glue, but I'm going to be applying the horns with lash glue. And I feel like using a really silicone primer, like under it, will make it slip off. Even though, once again, I'm just going to wipe this shit off like when I'm done filming. And then I'm going to use the peach cotton cushion from Skin Food because it's very, it's very flawless looking, especially when you build it up. But it is a little bit lighter than my natural skin tone. Um, so I think it will work for this look. It smells so good. It smells like fake peaches. For base makeup on my forehead, that's all I'm gonna put. Um, I'm not gonna worry about like highlighting there, contouring, whatever, because my bangs are gonna be down. Then to kind of highlight the center of my face, um, I'm using this concealer from Sep. Now Sep, they is like a Korean brand from CJ. No, it's not from. I don't know if it's from CJ. Is it from CJ? I think it's from CJ, but it's a brand in Olive Young, and um, they sponsored KCON this year, and they were giving like every oh honey, all the bitches had like step bags because apparently they're selling in Nordstrom or something. Uh, I don't know if they are right now, but yeah, they're just like giving everyone free makeup basically, and I they gave me a bunch of the stuff because I was doing this video for these ice skaters, and they. We're like, oh, can you please use these products? And did not even use this products. I only used like two lipsticks. Literally gave everyone like the same, because I think there was like a cushion. There's like a cream cushion, actually really similar to the VT and BTS one in their like concealer, which is what I'm using now. But I feel like they only gave away one color, which would be number 21, which is, is light even for people, a lot of people here in Korea. Um. But honey, you know the kids at KCOM, they love free shit, so <laughs> they snatch that shit right up. Oh, K-Beauty, love it! And I'm using a cream concealer to really, like, take care of these dark circles. Normally I'd like to leave, like, a slight bit of darkness around my eyes, because I feel like it almost acts like eyeshadow already for my eyes. But for this look, I'm really concealing everything because we're using so many reds, it's gonna bring out a lot of the other redness in my face, which it can be a, it can be a look, but not today, honey. Oh, and by the way, I'm making sure I'm using everything in thin layers because uh, actually the concealer probably looks like I like really like swiped the shit low, but it's actually, it's really 
has high coverage, so it looks like I put a lot on, but it's a really thin layer. Because even though it's Halloween, I still don't want to cake my face because I'm going to be using a lot of makeup already. So keep everything in thin layers. Look at me talking to you guys like, let's if you're going to fucking do this shit. Don't worry. Don't worry. I can understand if you don't want to do this. <laughs> and for my primer, I'm going to use Paint Pot from MAC. Or, you know, you can just fucking use your concealer. <laughs> but uh, this is Edward Avila's channel, and this channel we get real extra only sometimes. All right, and so to make myself look even more like paper, I'm going to set my face with the powder. <coughs> with the powder. This is the Pore Master Sebum Control Powder from Aritawam, and this is, if you have a pore issue, I really recommend this problem because I recommend this problem, what the fuck? I recommend this powder because she, I, well, I apply it with a really big puff. And there's a puff that comes with it, but uh, clearly we we don't have that much time today. So it yeah, really makes your skin look really smooth. But I mean, like, it's just it's just like the Innisfree one that was super popular years ago. Oh God, make sure you pat out those lines before you set and forget. Holy shit. <laughs> <gasps> what do the kids say now these days? Looking casket ready. <laughs> eh. All right, now I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows and I will be right back. <laughs> oh my lord, okay. I'm gonna contour me face now. Uh, using this blush kit from Anastasia. This color right here is super cool tone. Uh, so I'm gonna use that to uh, cut out the nose. Um, because this is more of a dramatic look, I don't mind going a little bit harder with, with the contour. So yeah, I remember for Christmas, me and Aura did um, kind of special, a cute little video where I made him look like an elf and I was like a little deer. Cause deers have like that specific shape of nose. Someone was like, um, I think you forgot to blend out your contour. Girl, that's part of the look. I'm gonna use a powder foundation to blend out the that line. So it looks more natural. Oh, bitch. Okay. And then for now, I'm just gonna add a little, just a little bit of highlighter. The very tip of me schnout. For now, at least. Actually, no, you know what? Let me do it while I'm, I'm at it. Uh, I'm gonna contour my face as well with um, the same thing in here. What the hell? Didn't I just say earlier that I wouldn't do anything else to my forehead? And here I am doing other things to my forehead. Oh my, I'm sorry, okay. That's it, that's it. I don't even know why I did that because I didn't, my bangs again are gonna be down. Um, for the eyes, I don't know what I wanna do exactly. I thought I had something in mind, but I'm kind of, as you guys know, I often will wing things, but I think in, this is one of those cases because I want it to be dramatic, but oftentimes when I try to go dramatic, I end up just doing a slightly more intense version of like my daily makeup. So I'm gonna try my best, I'm gonna try my best to get a look that is as intense for me as possible. You guys know I don't do super dramatic looks. So um, I'm using Urban Decor Naked Heat Palette. My friend, <laughs> during the little situation we had like, a week and a half ago, um, my friend said, "Oh my god, I thought you were, I thought you were looking really stressed out." So, I bought this for you. I was like, "Thanks." <laughs> Let's go into low blow. Let's go into this shade right here, and I'll put that all over my lid. Kind of following the natural contours of my, like you see my bone right here. I'm kind of just following it. Kind of just, I, I am. And then I'm gonna go into this really deep um, burnt brick. Is that, does that make sense? I'm gonna deepen up the crease with that. I'm coming to realize that with my eye shape, I can't do a wing that like goes up like that because of this brow bone. I probably could, but it would only, like it only makes sense from the side, but then I would have to draw the shape really weird. But if I'm gonna do it the most natural way as possible, I kind of just have to go straight out this way. Now I'm gonna go into like this really bronzy copper shade. It has a lot of shimmer in it. I'm gonna go over the entirety of the lid with that color.
the hell's going on with this color? Okay, I don't know what this eyeshadow is doing. It's acting kind of weird on my lid, but also I'm kind of liking the way it's acting weird on my lid because it's creating this, like, I don't know what it is, but like it shifts between this color and like a dark, embery kind of color, which is kind of weird, but I'm kind of living for it. And my eyeshadow is fucking not even even. Okay, I tried to even out my eyeshadow with my powder foundation because I felt like I was drooping over a little bit. So I kind of snatched it up on the sides. And um, it was doing that thing I mentioned in one video where because of my brow bone, it was looking like this. So I added a little bit of this shade. Not that it matters. You can use whatever shade. Um, and I kind of rounded off the corner here so that straight ahead it looks more wing-like, I guess. I don't know. Someone help. Mayday! This powder foundation, I'm gonna clean up the inner corner of my eye here, just so that part is super- I want that part to be really clean. I'm gonna use this shade on the lower corner here. And I'm gonna use ashes closer to the lash line here. Really quick, I'm gonna take this prism palette, and there's a black color in here called Obsidian. Now, I used it with like a kind of flat brush and it came off more, and even with my finger, it kind of came off more like charcoaly gray. But I remember one time I used it as like a liner with this kind of brush and it came off really black, so I don't know. But I'm gonna see if I can use that to... I don't know, we'll see if we can do anything with the shades. See, like on this brush it looks really black, but... Okay, bitch. Now, is it just me or whatever there are new palettes that come out, like I'm talking about like American Beauty. All these YouTubers always talk about, oh, the new blah, blah, blah palette, the truth. What do you mean the truth? Like, and then they use it and they're like, oh, it gets a thumbs up for me. All right, so I put some down here as well again. Um, I don't know what do I, I kind of want to add sparkle to it, but I don't want to like fuck it up because we all know I'm real good at that. Oh lord, I already regret that. Alright, now this one is too pink for this look. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know. Anyway, whatever. She thought she was doing well, but then it took a left turn. I really feel like the black kind of in a way lines the eyes. Like it adds definition to the eyes in that certain way, but because we're it's because it's Halloween. <laughs> I'm gonna use a black gel liner. Um just to Line my eyes. And then some really black mascara. And to give it that extra like Halloween flair, I'm gonna use a red liner. Um, I think I used this in my tutorial last year as well. Um, I'm gonna put that in my waterline. So we all know, red in the waterline means Halloween. And just because I think it'll look cool, I'm gonna go back into my paint pot with my liner brush, or just any brush that's really sharp. And I'm gonna kind of cut, um, or not cut, but like divide the space between the top and bottom lid. All right, that did not fucking work. By the way, I know there's gonna be someone that's gonna ask, but uh, my la, my, what am I saying? My contacts are, of course, the usual Russian velvet gray. I never, like when it comes to lenses, I'm not that explorative. I don't explore that much for lenses. If I find a, a pair of lenses I like, I often will just buy that over and over. So like if I want lighter eyes, I this is like my go-to. And if I'm wearing like heavier eye makeup, cause I noticed eye makeup that's really heavy, like dark, I guess, like something like this, I kind of have to wear lighter contact lenses because with my dark eyes, for me, I feel like it just doesn't go well. You know what, for my lips, I was gonna go with something a little bit more wild or whatever, uh, more really dark and vampy, but I'm just actually gonna go with like a more natural lip. Sorry guys. This should not be new to you guys. This is Flame Action from uh, the TikTok tint lip from I'm Beanie, from Mimi Box. I'm just gonna put a light layer all over. And then I kind of like to extend because my mouth looks a little short or not, not not that wide when I put lip color like this on. So I kind of extend 
right here. I kind of bring it out a little bit more. But not too much because it will look obvious. And that kind of makes my mouth look a little bit wider. But you guys can see this color is really... Oh god, I fucking love this color. Now, um, to attach the horn things, I'm actually going to use lash glue. This is the House of Lashes eyelash adhesive. Um, I'm going to apply it on here real quick and while it's uh, getting you know, sticky or dry or tacky or whatever. Oh my God, it's green. Um, while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna change real quick, hold on. Okay, I really need to make sure, oh girl, I'm gonna fuck this shit up real quick. Um, I need to stick this on here real quick. Oh, what's it? Oh my god, I'm gonna get this shit on my hair and it's gonna rip me my hair out. I remember last year I got liquid latex like on this part of my hair. And girl, I swear to god, I'm like bald here now. Well, done fucked up. They are not even. <laughs> okay, it's it's alright. I think my hair is helping it look a little bit more even. It's not looking demonic enough, so I wanna, I wanna add a little bit of a this Venetian red from this Anastasia palette. Um add a little some kind of like lines coming from my eyes. This I know for sure I did in my look last year. And it would probably be a smart idea to, before you uh, set your face with um, powder, you, you kind of do this with like maybe like a red eyeliner or a lip liner, um, and then you set your face because powder eyeshadow method is a little bit, I, it's not ideal. And I think that is it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, so as you can see, it's pretty much a dark fall look with some horns and a few red lines. And that, for me, is Halloween. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, all the products that I use will be down below if you're interested. And uh, hope you have a safe and a happy Halloween. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. We gon' play, we gon' ball, we gon' play to your house. I'm a bus in it, babe. Tell your friends I'ma get you going to a place where you gon' be fucking. She asking about my album, told her coming soon.